Hello everyone, it's Tom with the SS Motion back here today with another Call of Duty Mega Block set review. So today we're taking a look at one of the first sets to be released in the Call of Duty line, the Mountain Recon set. This is set number 06812, it's for ages 10 and up, it includes 62 pieces and it retails for approximately £10 here in the United Kingdom. So I know what you're thinking, Tom, why are we taking a look at this set now? Well, this was originally not a set that I actually intended to pick up at all. Uh, I didn't really have any room in my display for the Arctic stuff, and I kind of just ignored it and wanted to focus more on the desert and jungle style sets to start with. However, just after Christmas, I was very lucky, and I actually received this set from Simon here at the SS Motion uh, for absolutely nothing, basically, to be able to review for you guys. So that was really, really kind of him, and that's kind of the reason I have a review of this out for you here today. So, this set retails for about £10, and it's basically depicting Modern Warfare 2. So we get a snowmobile and a figure, and we'll take a look at the figure first. So if I just straighten him up for you guys, move his rifle out of the way. You can see the figure here. We have him in a white speckled camouflage for the trousers and just plain white for the, uh, I'd almost describe it as a thermal. You have a green scout style vest, the green helmet that has the goggles and microphone, a tan coloured ammo pouch, a green leg strap here with a silver knife attached, and a grey and black M4 and it's actually a good way to get an M4 it doesn't look out of place with any figures because the grey and black colour can really go with any of them so that's quite nice and an interesting thing to note is this is basically the exact same version of the M4 that we get with Captain Price in the tank set so that is really cool to have again uh, so that is the figure he uses a nice green and white colour scheme throughout he has green gloves green uh, karma green leg strap, green vest, green head and it just all looks really nice, it looks really fluent and it makes a very nice looking arctic figure and um, for my first arctic figure I am very impressed with it so taking a look at the second piece we have the snowmobile this is really well designed, it does use uh, some very large parts that go together back here, some quite big moulded pieces but they do achieve the effect nicely, we have turning treads which is always very nice, I can't really do that, I'll do that with my thumb there, you can see that. We have backpacks on the back here, which are actually removable and can be put on the figure. We have seating, we have a look at the front, and then we have the skids themselves, which are very adjustable, we can turn them like so, we can move them up and down, and they are very cool, but they are quite hard to get posed in a neutral pose. You then have a new windscreen piece, which I was really impressed with. I actually thought this would be the same windscreen piece as we see in the Mongoose, so I was very impressed that that's a new piece. And then hidden underneath our handlebars here, if I pop the windscreen off, we do actually have some painted dials as well for acceleration, so that's really nice. So it's quite a small model. It doesn't really make up too many pieces, but it is nice for the price you pay, and it does definitely represent a snowmobile. So that's pretty much it for this set guys, there's not really too much to say with it. It is one of the smaller sets, but it is a very nice set at that. We have a nice variety of colours in the model with silvers, greys, browns and greens. And we have a really nice fluent looking figure who really is um, a great army builder. This really is a great army building set if you're looking to get more than one of the snowmobile and you want to build up an arctic army so would i recommend this set yes i would so this has been another review with me tom from the ss motion i hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for a review of the arctic battleground is that it no arctic invasion that's what it's called sorry guys uh, a review of arctic invasion which will be coming out very